Well, health news now. If you happen to be one of the millions of people suffering from acid reflux and indigestion. There's a new non-surgical solution that can help you put down those antacids. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here now to explain it for us. Yeah, that's right, Christine. You know, it's a procedure that uses radio frequency, essentially microwaves, to treat a problem that goes by many names. Acid reflux, GERD, heartburn, and severe indigestion. But stomach acid reflux can also cause symptoms like sinusitis, hoarseness, even asthma. Does this menu sound familiar? A big greasy hamburger, some fried food, tomatoes, maybe a glass of wine, a few cups of coffee during the day. They're all foods just about guaranteed to cause stomach acid reflux and more in susceptible people like Colleen Emma. You can get a lump in your throat or I feel like I have like uh, congestion in there. It comes up into my nose. Colleen has what's called silent reflux because it doesn't cause a typical heartburn pain. But it's still due to the same problem. When you swallow food, the esophagus pushes it down into the stomach where the lower esophageal sphincter normally acts as a one-way valve. Reflux occurs when the sphincter is too open and stomach acid backs up into the esophagus and even up into the throat. It actually causes some um, inflammation in the lungs and irritation, and this can actually um, exacerbate asthma and actually even trigger asthma. Antacids, acid blockers, and diet fail to control Colleen's reflux, so today she's having something called a Streta procedure. Colleen is sedated during the procedure, which takes about an hour. An inflatable balloon is guided down into her throat and deploys four tiny needles that are actually little radio antennas. At multiple sites at the bottom of the esophagus and the top of the stomach, the needles gently heat the muscle layer of the sphincter. It actually helps the sphincter to get a little bulky and stronger and prevent the reflux contents from the stomach coming up into the chest. A short while after waking up, Colleen can go home and eat, hoping for... Just to get back to more normal, not have this congestion in my throat. Now, Dr. Sam says it takes a few weeks to a few months before the esophagus valve improves after strata. But studies show that even after 10 years, half of the treated patients are still off their acid medications and reflux-free. Cost is about $5,000 and might be covered by insurance depending on your plan. Some yes, some no. Depends. Okay. Thank you, doctor. You bet. Thank you, Dr. Max. Now to an amazing story from Long Island today. A baby boy born with only four fingers gets a thumb for the first time. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us about the surgery that gave baby Brandon full use of his hand. Dr. Max? That's right, Christina Maurice. Brandon Torres was born without a thumb on his right hand. May not sound like a huge deal, but a thumb is what allows us to grasp and manipulate everything from tools to bats to doorknobs. So how do you replace a thumb? Well, you make one from one of his other fingers. Brandon Torres is a cute, normal, and little fidgety one-year-old. And if you didn't know better, you'd say his right hand also looks pretty normal, until you count his fingers. He was born without a thumb. They start counting fingers and toes, and they come to you and they say, something's wrong. I, I it was a shock. I felt like at that moment I couldn't believe it because I was like, is that even possible? Like, I know my sonograms all came out great. After much consultation and agonizing, mom and dad decided to let Dr. Nicholas Bastidas do an extremely rare operation to give Brandon a new thumb. We actually just moved his whole index finger, uh, shortened it, and you did microsurgery to lengthen those nerves and then transferred the artery, veins, and nerves over into that new position. You heard right. Dr. Bastidas created a thumb for Brandon out of his index finger. The two and a half hour operation was just a month ago, right before Brandon's first birthday. And mom told me his recovery has been remarkable. He's already crawling on it, putting his hand down. So, and he has no pain. It's incredible how resilient these babies are. Brandon still has a pin in his new thumb to let everything heal. Then he'll start occupational therapy to retrain his brain in how to use the finger in its new location. His function will be only slightly impaired, probably about 30 to 50 percent impaired as far as strength, but ability to go ahead and do all these things and pick up objects should have a very functional and normal use of that thumb. And by the time he's old enough to understand how unique he is, Brandon will be using his hand pretty much like his big brother. I think it's incredible. It's definitely a miracle. You know, now Brandon does have a left thumb, but that's also not quite normal. Dr. Bastida says he'll have to operate on that one to move some tendons, tendons around to strengthen it and give it full function. But compared to giving Brandon a whole new thumb, well, that's a piece of cake. Christine, Maurice. My goodness, Dr. Max, thank you. That's just beyond incredible.